Sorry, I got a question. I've read the, the Samuel paper and I've discovered that they say that even though you fill it in, it's not a guarantee that you're actually going to be part of Samuel. So I just want to know what, what entails an artist to be part of Samuel and for them to decide that you're part of it. Yeah. Um, there are tiers in terms of Samuel membership. Anyone? can be a, a Samra member, you sign up and you become a, a first tier member. But you only become a full member, or I think associate or full member, once you start earning royalties. Mm -hmm. It has to, because the thing is, there, there, I suppose, it makes it from, a, from an administrative perspective, there has to be that distinction. So you're a member, um, but once you start earning royalties and you get into the system per se, then you start being eligible for, for like non-royalty revenue, for example, that like every Samro member, earning member, and even if you earned last year or two years ago, but once you convert, you're converted. Um, so that's that's essentially what that, that distinction is. And and uh, like the relationship that they have with Samro, should it be like on a weekly basis or just every month or what? Say now if, as an artist, like you get busy like every week you just dropping maybe EPs or stuff is playing on the radio because you're dropping it off because you know the opportunities that's there at yeah. Kudo, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there's opportunities, they have like a local top 30 so you can go dropping songs every week. So does it mean like, you know, you must be on a weekly basis? I think as soon as, you, as soon as you finish something, a work, notify Samuel, notify, um, it's, I mean for Samuel whether you're doing it every day or every month or every, it doesn't really matter because they're doing it every day anyway. They're accepting, you know, notifications every day. So for you personally, it's uh, especially if you know your work is going to be played. Mm -hmm. You need to be. Samuel needs to know because once those returns come in and the next distribution comes in, you know, it's it's, it's whose work is this? Oh, we don't know. It. If it's once you finish it, well, however, how, however often, however often. And I mean, I I, I know that from a customer service perspective, like I mentioned earlier. Maybe you you know you might have come across some problems. It's not as smooth as it should be, but ideally the ideal ideal situations that you need to be notified to them well. So so me being from Cape Town won't be a problem because you guys wasn't joking. <laughs> but you see that's why I say something like that we need in Cape Town. Like for, like they say, it's better for me to open two offers and go shop that one. And we all have one account, nothing but focus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should open. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, it's so, it's like uh, you say, sometimes it's the opportunity that presents itself where you say to me, here's a CD, and I go, have you registered with Sam Rowe? And then you go, no. And I'm like, well, it might be a good idea. And sometimes the artist goes, no, but it doesn't matter to me. I just want to play my song on the radio. Mm -hmm. So, again, for me, this, these kind of talks can go on and on. And I also think it's always relevant to your situation because we all have different wants, different needs, why we're doing what we're doing. So, if your dream is just to have a song on the radio so that your girlfriend's mother can say my 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 daughter's <laughs> boyfriend's on radio. Then Samuel is not important to you. you know what I mean? If you actually say if you want to actually earn money from the work that you're involved in, and it doesn't just mean on radio. I mean you could make music for movies or whatever. But it really has, it comes down to you, and no one can take that to you. No one can say do it this way. Like I'm saying, Good Hope has got an open mic thing every Wednesday, but if you're going to be dropping EPs there every Wednesday, I doubt you're going to have the time to actually every Monday tell Sam I've just finished the song. Because on Tuesday night, 3 o'clock, you still at your brass house mixing down the song to get to the Wednesday afternoon. So I'm saying, prioritize and figure out what it is you want first, and then someone else can decide. Can I just ask you, what are the chances of the establishing physical space here? <laughs> In Cape Town, I'll have to I'll have to go back to 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 Samuel, you know, and Andre. And I, I don't know, I don't know, but I know that they, they it was not they said it wasn't well, a lot of the parts, because the reason I'm letting this is a lot of people. I mean, Cape Town, South Africa is different from the rest of Africa. You know, the wrong side of the digital divide, and you know, increasing people accessing the internet using their mobile phones, but it's not really limited in terms of what you can do. If I want to sort of register my song, can it just be a mobile version of this online case, for example, that will allow me to really simply go, okay, just take this stuff, let's do it. Yeah. Um, and even then, the people who are you know, accessing the, the web like this, that could be much more accessible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's a challenge. It's, a, it's really a challenge that, and it's not even limited to Samro, you know, in terms of, how to how to communicate and if you're going to do digital, are you, are you, do you have a movie site? And if you have a movie site, is it going to be able to handle the kind of information that you need to handle? 
I mean, I don't have an answer to, to that right now, but um, the bandwidth issue, the broadband issue is a problem. It's a problem for, for us. And, but I, what I can do is I can find out. I can find out what they have in, in the pipeline, for that kind of thing, and for, and for Cape Town, the office, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's homework. We're happy to help, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. so because the bandwidth is changing. I mean, I don't know if you've seen um, Steve's song has a map that has gone around the world now of the pipes. The cables, the cables coming in mm. are going to transform how we operate, see, entertain, connect, do business. We need to know now and we need to be educated now because it's coming. I actually just want to know man, what authors and what groups are exactly like being successful at filling in these forms and mm -hmm. getting somewhere. Who's really getting paid here? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Like, mm -hmm. you know, that you can say now, this, this hip hop crew or that hip hop crew, now they're working hard, they're filling in their forms, we're getting the information, you know, and they're getting paid. I would just like to know, is there anybody out there, like, you know, getting paid or something? They're bringing me to this corner now. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't have those kind of stats with me. I wouldn't know. Because I would think it would be there on your database or your computer, you know, because it's like communicating. To be fair, she's with Dallas. Not with Sandra, yeah. So she's not on the inside. Yeah. My bad. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I don't, I'm not privy to, to, to Samuel's decisions and Samuel's distribution, um, you know, as to, as to who's getting what. Um, but I, I think from, if I, if I remember correctly, just in general statistics, I know that um, a large portion still goes, but it's been decreasing, but a large portion still goes outside the country because it's based on users. It's, we're still paying more international than local. Because remember, like broadcast, which is like your SABC, which is your, and your independent um, radio uh, channels, but you know, SABC is a big um, earner. You know, because with all the radio stations, with all the TV stations, that's where a large source of the revenue comes from. And they're still playing a lot of international music. That's 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 the that's the, the fact of the matter. And then they will stop. Then let's say then we look at the local. Um, you know, by genre, I don't know. I know that you know, like Afrikaans music, I think was still pretty up there. Um, and also the Bakanas. And the house music, of course. And the house music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem, that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, honestly, I wouldn't be able to comment on who's been earning what. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Three years ago, I don't think Samro would necessarily have thought much about being at a hip hop dialogue <laughs> conversation. Um, so maybe there's new blood that's coming in and you know that's more in touch with different types you know not the but they, they actually used to call it serious music that was the there was a serious music to quite wow. yeah. um andre just he can't handle it <laughs> <laughs> but you know we, we are it's, it's i think you know times are changing